This is the budding light of hope and knowledge, the delight of Sri Prakash educational institutions, spreading academic brilliance in all directions. Mr. Students, I am Varahalu, one of your language teachers. I am very glad to meet you all. How are you? Are you ready to attend today's online classes? In today's video, we are going to learn about a lesson called Who did Patrick's homework? I hope everyone of you would like this video and learn thoroughly about the lesson Who did Patrick's homework? Wish you a happy learning. The aim of this video is to make you identify the main theme, characters, sequence of ideas and events and relates with your personal experiences to enable you to respond to a variety of questions on familiar and unfamiliar texts verbally and in writing. You will be able to use meaningful sentences to describe or narrate factual or imaginary situations in speech and in writing. Watch video and learn about who did Patrick's homework, improve LSRW skills, read, understand and comprehend the text, work with the text by answering the questions given in page number 11 of Honeysuckle. Word in focus. Today's word is hamper. Hamper is a verb meaning to hinder, conjugation, hamper, hampered, hampered, Hampering hampers. Derivatives are hamper, hamperer, both are nouns. Usages are the project was hampered by budget restraints. Hampered is a verb. We don't own a picnic hamper. Hamper is a noun. About the author, Carol Moore. She was born on July 12th. 1871 at Limerick, Maine in United States. She lived up to 20th January 1961. She received the awards Regina Medal, John Newberry Medal. Let's learn about the lesson Who did Patrick's homework? Before we go further, Let's watch a video on who did Patrick's homework. The story of Patrick's homework by Carol Moore. Patrick was a young boy. He never did his homework. Oh, it's too boring, he said. He played hockey, basketball and Nintendo all the time. His teacher advised often, Patrick, do your homework regularly or you won't learn a thing. It was indeed true. He did feel like an ignoramus with his friends around. But what could he do? He hated homework. One fine day, when he was engrossed with his Nintendo, he found his pet cat, Tom, playing with a little doll. He quickly grabbed it. To his surprise, it wasn't a doll at all, but a little elf. He was the tiniest creature that Patrick had ever seen. He yelled, Hey, save me from this wild cat. I'll grant you a wish if you do. I promise you that. Patrick couldn't believe his luck. Here God had sent an answer to all of his problems. So he said, only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester, I'll surely save you. If you do good work, I could even get A's in all the subjects. True to his word, the little elf began to do Patrick's homework, except for one small glitch. The elf didn't always know what to do and he needed lots of help. Help me, help me, he'd say, and Patrick would have to help in whatever way. I don't know this word, I don't know this problem, the elf squeaked and whined while attempting Patrick's homework. Get me a dictionary. No, what's even better, look up the word and pronounce it well. When it came to mathematics, Patrick was out of luck. What are timetables? The elf shrieked with fear. We elves never need that. Addition and subtraction and divisions and fractions. Oh my God! Here, sit down beside me. 
you simply must guide me else i will never be able to do all this work elves know nothing about human history to them it's a mystery so the little elf already a shouter just got louder go to the library fetch me books as many as you can of course help me read them too as a matter of fact every day in every way the little elf was turning out to be a nag patrick was working harder than ever and was it a drag he was staying up nights had never felt so weary was going to school with his eyes puffed and blurry finally the last day of semester arrived the elf was now free to go as for homework there was no more so he quietly and slyly slipped out the back door 9 patrick got his a's his classmates were amazed his teachers smiled and were full of praise for him his parents were genuinely surprised they wondered what had happened to patrick he was now the model kid he cleaned his room did his chores was cheerful never rude like he was a completely different person you see in the end patrick still thought he had made that tiny man do all his homework but i'll share a secret just between you and me it wasn't the elf patrick had done it himself patrick had been tricked into doing his homework who did patrick's homework the story is of a boy who was not willing to do his homework in return to the favors he had done for saving an elf life he assigned all his homework to it as elf was not familiar with the subjects he took the help of patrick now patrick was doing hard work in assisting the elf at the end he became independent and happy on the homework very boring he preferred to play hockey and basketball he was advised by the teacher to do his homework to learn better he often realized that he had not learned many things still did not change his attitude one day he saw that his cat was playing with an elf it was tiny man wearing a little wool shirt and short trousers he shouted to be saved from the cat it promised to grant patrick a wish if he saves its life patrick found someone to do his homework he felt lucky he asked for his help till the end of the semester although the elf felt disgusted by the demand initially yet it decided to help patrick in his homework elf did not know all the subjects he asked for help patrick had to read words with meanings for elf in solving the problem of mathematics it took help of patrick himself history was troublesome for elf it involved patrick all the time while doing his homework patrick was reading day and night unknowingly and in helping elf he actually learned lots of things last day of the school the elf left secretly through the back door it didn't want to stay longer as the work was tiresome for it end of the semester patrick surprised everyone by scoring a great actually it was achieved only through his own hard work his teachers parents and friends wondered for the positive changes in his personality became the inspiration for others he did all his chores by himself he was liked and appreciated by everyone while helping the elf patrick had learned to work hard and finally the success was his not that of the elf moral of this story is hard work is only the key to success we should always do our work by our own self patrick learned this value and started doing his homework the big question of the lesson is does homework help us improve our learning let's fill in the blanks with the following words or phrases fond of taken to a liking for appeal to keen on have a taste for support assist with the aid of help a boon a boost to i am not very fond of keeping my room clean and tidy 
but I am keeping with the aid of my sister. I have not developed a liking for non-vegetarian, but my elder brother does not support me. I have taken to playing football. How may I help you? Let's fill in the blanks with the following words or phrases. I have developed a liking for chess also. I appeal to my friends to play some game. Sports can be a boon in your career making. They give a boost to my confidence. My deskmate is keen on catching a grade. I hope he will assist me in preparing my lessons. Vocabulary Nintendo meaning a video game. I am going to play on my Nintendo after school. Ignoramus meaning an ignorant person who lacks education. The farmer is treated as an ignoramus in India. Shriek meaning give you a short high pitched cry. It was the owl that shrieked. Nag meaning one who troubles someone all the time by complaining or asking them to do something. My parents are nagging me to do my homeworks. Slyly meaning secretively. John lay there on the stretcher bed and laughed slyly. Let's have an activity. Write a paragraph about your opinion on homework. Please pause your video and complete the activity. As a part of active listening activity, let's listen to the summary of who did Patrick's homework. After completion of my reading, please you also read by following the correct pronunciation. Patrick hated doing homework. He found it boring. He was interested in playing games. He played hockey, basketball and Nintendo. His teachers warned him that he must do homework. Otherwise, he would remain an ignorant person. Sometimes he really felt that he was so. But somehow Patrick could not help it. One day Patrick found his cat playing with the little doll. He took the doll away. To his surprise, he found that the doll was in fact a little man. This man wore old-fashioned breeches. His hat was tall like a witch's. That little man cried, Save me! In return, he promised to grant Patrick a wish. Patrick saved the little man. He was much pleased. He asked the little man to do all his homework till the end of the semester. That way he could get A grades. The little man didn't like it. Yet he agreed to do so. He began his work in right earnest. However, there was one difficulty. Very often he needed Patrick's help in doing the homework properly. Sometimes the elf would ask for a dictionary. He would request Patrick to look up a word and speak its spelling loudly. When it came to math, it was even worse. The elf did not know much of it, so Patrick had to sit beside him and guide him all the time. It was the same thing with the history. Patrick had to go to the library, get the books and read them out to the elf. Then the elf would write those points in his homework answer book. Patrick had to do much hard work. Finally, the last day of school arrived and the elf was free to go. The homework had, of course, been completed. Patrick got his uh, A's. His classmates were amazed and uh, his teachers smiled. His parents wondered how their son had become such a model kid. Patrick had indeed developed a whole new attitude. Of course, Patrick thought that the elf had done his homework, but the truth is that he was all along doing it himself. 
As a part of edutainment, let's watch video songs on homework. Something real important. It had something to do with what's his name? Shakespeare? I gotta write 2,000 words on that. Too much homework, too much homework, way too much tonight. Too much homework, too much homework, way too much tonight. Now I'm fully serious when I say my bag weighs a ton and then some. No kidding. Math, science, music, history, English, IT, business, art, and that is only half. Holy crap! Too much homework, too much homework, way too much tonight. Too much homework, too much homework, way too much tonight. It's no wonder that high school peeps spend so much time on Facebook and YouTube with all that homework. Waiting us down, it's our only way to have fun. I think every one of you have liked the videos that were shown as a part of entertainment on homework. 
As a part of speaking activity, speak a few words on your homework completion to your family members. I hope everyone of you have liked this video and learned thoroughly about the lesson who did Patrick's homework. Thank you for watching this video and thank you very much.